quagmire. Nature. Bah! Oh, I can't wait to commence paving over this dump tomorrow. <laughs> what? Line. Principal penalizes problem pupils. Good, huh? Ugh. Pretty punchy. Mm. Look out, Ace Reporter. Your editor is back from a press conference at the nail salon. Tear up the front page. We've got a new lead story. Well, I'll tell you what. It was huge. Even bigger than my bulldozers. This glowing UFO thing just rose out of the swamp all spooky like and me right for me. Ah, in the stench. Oh, boy. I was lucky to get out of there with my boots on. Any more questions? What's he doing with bulldozers at the swamp? Hello? You're missing the big story. UFOs? Aliens invade local swamp? Little green men in flying saucers? He didn't say anything about little green men. Besides, I already have my story. <laughs> Hey! Get out to that swamp and bring me back a scoop about aliens. Fine, I'll bring you a story, but it won't be about aliens. It'll be about facts. Facts? <laughs> You'll never make it in the news business. You should come with me. Why? Duh, it's a swamp. Dirty, wet, mm, smelly, slimy. Come on. It's really tempting. But all the pond scum in the world wouldn't make me work for Paige. Agents, get to the swamp fast. There are aliens there, and they stink. OK, we're on our way. Uh, Director, why are you wearing a tinfoil hat? Why else to keep the aliens from reading my thoughts? Sometimes I wonder if he's in control of his brain. They'd want to tear down a great murky swamp to build a water park. Phew. Oh, that developer was right about one thing. This place definitely reeks. Good old stinky decay. Part of a healthy ecosystem. So what made that guy think there were aliens here? He said he saw a UFO. So? A UFO is just a flying object that's unidentified. It's not necessarily an alien spaceship. Oh. Then what do you call that? Whoa! <sighs> hey, it's not solid. It's gaseous. Gotcha! Front page, here I come! We gotta get this sample to the gag lab. Right. 
There's a scientific explanation for all of this. And I can't wait to hear it. In the old days, they called it a will-o'-the-wisp, foxfire, or corpse candle, a light that bobs around and moves away when you approach. But what is it? Swamp gas, impure and simple. Methane, hydrogen sulfide, phosphine, phosphorus tetrahydride. All produced by bacteria digesting dead plants and animals. Oh, bacteria farts, got it. But why isn't it glowing anymore? We don't know why, but swamp gas only glows in a swamp. But we do know the difference between swamp gas and an alien spaceship. In your face, Paige! What's the deal? I, I solved the mystery, I debunked the flying saucers. So how come we can't even give these papers away? Extra, extra! Read all about it! No Martians in the marsh, just germs cutting the cheese! Who wants to read that? But it's the truth! Truth schmooth! Will-o'-the-wisps are wimpy and boring, and swamp gas is just disgusting! I ask for E.T., and you give me P.U. Find me a real scoop, or your next headline will be Reporter demoted to scrubbing newsroom floor. Oh. Ty, there are no more little green men here now than there were yesterday. Yeah, but there's got to be another story here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe there is. Hey, aren't you that guy who got scared off by the UFO thing? That was before some kid whipped up a story and proved it was just smelly old swamp gas. I was just flat ready to shut the whole shebang down. But now I'm back in business. Yeah! <laughs> what are you looking at me for? Oh, gave me an idea for a name, too. Will of the Wisp Waters. It's a natural. <laughs> and tomorrow we drain this whole stinky mud patch. But this swamp is a habitat for fish and migratory birds and a buffer zone for storms and all sorts of insects. Why what? ain't you sweet with all your big words and such, huh? <sighs> Have a coupon, darling. It'll get you a dollar off at the hot dog stand. Hey, all I did was write the truth. <sighs> I know. Here's your new story, Swamp Doomed. Paige might stick it somewhere in the back. Out. What's going on? Hey, a power outage! Let's get the flashlights, hon. Kids, you stay here and guard the fort. <laughs> Time! Outside the house! Oh, phew! Since when does swamp gas invade cities? Remember? The swamp gas? It's an invasion, I tell you! The whole city's losing power block by block! <laughs> you have to stop them! Ty, look! That side of the street still has power. Not for long. a camera. You know, that might be a clue. The scorch mark on this transformer shows the will of the wisp ignited and burned through the wire. Instant blackout. Swamp gas is flammable? Yeah, it's partly methane, just like natural gas. 
But something had to guide the swamp gas into all those transformers. Yeah, it can't be random. Agents, have you encountered the alien invaders yet? Nah, just more swamp gas. Director, d where are you? A secure, undisclosed location. <laughs> I can't let you in, Mother! You may be under Martian mind control! <laughs> I've got enough water and canned food to outlast the invasion. <laughs> I just wish Mother had stocked up with something besides baked beans. Sir, there are no aliens. Oh, really? Just turn on the TV! Friends, Professor T.P. Skinner here. Let me ask you, do you see strange lights in the sky? It's just some crazy ad. Have your machines been disabled by ray gun blasts? <laughs> ray gun blasts? Have you or your loved ones been abducted by hideous invaders from another world? <gasps> I know I have. Then you need Professor Skinner's Martian Invasion Survival Kit. <laughs> they were at my door last night. It has food, rope, anti-alien spray, lots more rope. Then they stunned me with a ray gun and took me to their spaceship. They completely erased my memory. Call now and I'll throw in my Electro Martian Repeller. That's Professor Skinner's Martian Invasion Survival Kit. Don't flee home without it. Is he trying to cause a panic? We need to check out how that swamp gas got to those Transformers. Don't worry about Skinner. People in this town are too smart to be spooked by a dumb infomercial. Uh-oh. Detective? No time to talk. Better barricade your house for the Martian attack. Whoa! Huh? This is even more fun than a power outage. <laughs> Next time I'm abducted, I'm going to be prepared. The whole city's gone wacko. <laughs> this all started at the swamp, and it's gonna end there, too. Come on. <sighs> Maybe the aliens went home? There aren't any aliens in the swamp or anywhere else. It's just a big misunderstanding. <gasps> Ty, turn us around. Definitely not swamp gas. Are you sure that isn't an alien? I'm only sure we're in trouble. giant robot attack, but we're done now. Okay. Well, I did some data mining and found a pattern to the power grid attacks. I asked myself, what path could Will-O-The-Wisps take into town that no one would see? I figured maybe the sewers, so I sent Hermes out with a GPS sensor. Sure enough, he discovered the power poles that were attacked are all directly above sewer openings. So I got a schematic of the sewer and the pipes all lead to one place. The, the swamp. swamp. So, we've got a huge alien robot who's shooting gas through the sewers. Somehow, I don't think that's going to calm anyone down. Hi, Professor TP Especially with Skinner on Can the air. Can you folks believe this? You not only get the Electro-Martian repeller, but also these adapters for Venusians, Mercurians, and Plutonians. Offer void for prohibited, results not guaranteed. Pluto no longer considered a planet. Are aliens? Somebody help me! We now return you to your regularly scheduled lives. Keep back! I will warn you! I have pepper spray! Hey! You're not an alien! You know there are no aliens. You've been freaking out the whole town so you can sell them worthless junk. 
junk, my Electro Martian Repeller is not worthless. Watch. Uh, it didn't do anything? Exactly. Now we know you're not a Martian. You're welcome. <gasps> Owls and bats in the daytime. Wow. They're heading for the city. <laughs> Partner, I got a scoop for you. I'm out of the water park business for good. I never want to hear Will of the Wisp again. Adios, muchachos. The yeah! Guys, the sun's been blotted out all over the city, and swamp gas is everywhere. We've got bigger problems. That giant three-legged machine that might be from Mars is playing hide-and-seek. Well, you can stop looking. It's here. I think I better check out the sewer. Now. I'll intercept the machine. I'll just wait up here with the, uh, uh oh, no. Aliens. Oh, no, 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 on second thought, wait for me! Hmm, don't think this is your average sewer line. <laughs> oh, ye use! Wow. It's a UFO! Let's get out of here. Calm down. Somebody just built a gas lab under the swamp. This is a static generator. Just like your Electro Martian repeller, oh. only a lot bigger. Huh? That's it! He loads the thing with gas balls, then fires them off with static charges. Hmm. Uh, let me see that toy gun. It's not a toy! Not anymore. Your last warning. And here's your only warning. Yes, two for two. A little shut eye. <laughs> Miss me. <gasps> dark old crevasse. Of course, the dark swamp, the bats and owls blotting out the sun. You could have avoided all this by leaving me alone in my swamp. It was the only place you light burners hadn't polluted with all your painful illumination. <laughs> you invaded my world, now I'm invading yours. I'm going to destroy every light in town and send it back to the Dark Ages. <laughs> Let him go! Darko! Where did you get that absurd toy? Saw it on TV! And you know what? With a few alterations, it works! What? Light! No! Get them away! They're too bright! Too bright! <gasps> ah. <laughs> and you, Darko, you're not very bright at all. Let go, my brother! All right, all right, I'll let him go! Just turn off the lights! <laughs> Too bright! That's right, folks! My Electro-Martian Repeller works on supervillains, too! 
I wonder if it works on cheesy TV hucksters. Yep, for only nine payments of $99.99, you too can move. Oh, Davis! Oh, Davis! Hmm, this thing really is handy. <laughs> Darko Crevasse for fomenting civic panic and making me blow my bonus on a bunch of crummy junk. I'll see to it that you're thrown into our deepest, darkest dungeon. Oh, thank you, thank you. I don't know how much longer I can breathe in here. Well, sir, there are still a lot of flying saucers. Uh... Yeah, better stay put till we can drive them off. Mm. Another week or two. Another week? Or two? I wrote a great story about how Darko panicked the town with phony UFOs. It made the front page? No. Paige killed it and printed this instead. Page probed by precocious Plutonians. And a photo. Ew. And let's not forget the back page. Lame reporter wrecks everybody's fun by ruining Water Park to save Stinky Swamp. Oh, that'll make you popular. Uh, we did shut down Darko's gas lab, right? Yeah. And we locked him up tight? Yeah, why? What is it? So can you identify that flying object? <gasps> I'm sure there's a scientific explanation. <laughs>